all of this is natural baby okay <laughs> Welcome back to today's video. If you're new on here, my name is Tonya. You know Miss Energy. Hey, Miss Positive. Miss Energy. Hey. I had to add that extra there. See, forget. Forget. Extra is okay. <laughs> I wanted today's video to be very chilled you know me on the couch pillow talk type of video you know pillow talk my enemy my ally prisoner I've forgotten the words hey seeing the pain seeing the pleasure nobody but you body but me body but us bodies together hey I need to hold you close tonight and always I need to wake up next to you if you don't know that song, go and listen to it. Don't used to listen to music. Eh? <laughs> but you guys, I wanted today's video to be very, very chilled. I cannot even wear makeup today because I need to go get my eyelashes done. And when you're doing your eyelashes, they don't want you to have any makeup on your eye. So, like, on your eye area. So, I can't wear foundation, concealer, none of that. So, like, what's the point? I will show you all of that in the next vlog. But you guys i posted on my social media platforms so i was like you guys should tell me what your assumptions are about me this video trended a lot last year but i like to do things whenever i want to do things i don't really care about when it is trending like <laughs> i don't care if it has finished trending it's now me i want to do it so i posted on my youtube and my instagram and i was like you guys should tell me some of your assumptions about me and oh my god <laughs> i cannot even laugh see it's it's just kind of fun see what people actually think about me some of your assumptions are ridiculous but this was the post that i posted and on here are some of your replies oh on there are some of your replies oh it's the other way around so i'm gonna go ahead and read some of them and also go to my youtube channel and read some on there and also on my community tab on youtube so um this person says it's not an assumption dear you're blessed and have a lovely husband <laughs> thank you so much i do consider you guys i don't know what's going on with my shirt though see but you you shall be ignoring whatever is going on with this shirt but um i do consider myself a very blessed person one thing that i love most about my husband is that he's he makes me laugh a lot and i don't know i feel like i didn't really have a specific way that i wanted my husband to be to be honest but i just knew that i wanted my husband to be someone that i would laugh with like that was one thing that was very key to me i wanted to be happy like that that word happiness is something that i wanted and of course every marriage has its ups and downs so it's not like oh my god we're laughing and we're happy every single day we do have our moment <laughs> okay but the most for the most part we're very happy together this person says i have never made any assumptions except that you might be pregnant okay <laughs> next <laughs> oh my goodness that assumption i don't know it kind of makes me happy <laughs> i don't know why i don't know why but that assumption makes me happy then this person says you are that energy i need every other day you are amazing oh my god you guys you don't even know how happy i am whenever you guys say that like you love my energy and all of that this is how i am like anyone who has known me even since i was like way much younger you will know this is me i'm one of those kind of people that in high school i was involved in drama club and music clubs and and um, everything like everything in church i was in um kids this and choir that and like i'm i'm a very active human being and i have always been like that since i was such such a young human being so negative comments don't affect you <laughs> of course let me not lie as 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 a human being like of course negative things affects me sometimes like it depends on what you say and how you say it of course sometimes i'll feel like why does this person think this like i care about what people say about me but i don't let that affect me because i am human i have emotions so of course sometimes i do feel some certain ways about it but it doesn't affect me like make me make any life changes because of because of that no that's not my kind of person so yeah you are absolutely right the same person says 
I assume that you have worked very hard to get to where you are and are therefore humble. Hmm. This is very, very accurate. Um, I will one day tell you guys like my story, okay, of where I'm coming from and how I got to where I am today. But I feel like I'm not there yet, so I don't want to say much about it. I've always felt like I am, mo I am mom. I need to take care of everyone else. And, you know, it's just my own natural instinct of always wanting to be a mom and take care of everyone. And I am the oldest of my four siblings, so you can imagine, like, I've had to pay school fees and buy coats and, <laughs> you know, all of that stuff. So... I don't brag but I feel like I have worked really really hard and yes I am very much humble so this person <laughs> this person this person you know yourself you know yourself how can you be saying this kind of a thing <laughs> I assume that you got a boob job and you're just pretending that your boobs are all natural don't call for me it's just an assumption how can you say this thing i say i should not call for you let me adjust my sitting how can you finish saying this thing now and say don't call for me sister i am coming for you so you don't want to fight you don't want to fight but you're starting fight how do you start a fire i know how uh, uh, an extinguisher i see and how can you come and tell me that I need boob job and I say don't come for me I will come for you <laughs> no but on a serious note that is not I don't always love my body okay you guys know me I'm a very realistic person I'm a very real person I don't always love my body like it's not every time that I look at myself and feel like god damn I think I am hot like that some days I wake up I'm bloated as hell and I'm like I'm fat some days I tell myself that but I'm saying this to say that I'm the kind of person that I don't know but I have never thought about changing my body in any kind of way before I'm not perfect like I wish my stomach was flatter I wish <laughs> my butt was bigger <laughs> and I wish my nose was a certain kind of way but I have never really thought about butchering myself like why I don't like pain my, my, my pain tolerance is very small I don't ever want to go through anything that causes me pain like I don't want to I don't want anybody to cut me open I don't want anybody to suck fat out of nowhere I don't want anybody to add fat into anywhere so no my body is 100% natural I did not get a boob job my boobs are very natural <laughs> All of this all of this is natural baby okay take it or leave it <laughs> someone says I assume you are a moody person <laughs> moody person how I don't I don't really understand that one moody I feel like my mood is based on how I feel like I can look kind of uh, moody or happy or it just depends if i'm having a very stressful day at work you don't expect me to just be jumping about being happy so yes in those kind of moments i will be moody but i am not always moody <laughs> but i don't know why you assume that maybe you should comment in the comment section and let me know why you think i'm a moody person this person i'm going to mention her name simply because like you know she's my person and i just love 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 her assumption she says this is Millicent Zandax. If you don't know Mill Millicent Zandax of the Zandax family, then <laughs> you better check her out. She says, you're a woman who believes in work hard, play hard, and love financial independence too. Okay, this question kind of tallies a little bit with the other question I just answered of taking care of everyone else. So, I feel like I have to be financially independent because I have so many people who depend on me. Now, when you're that kind of a person, you would want to be free you know you want to be financially uh, stable so you can take care of the people who depend on you yeah so that's always my mentality when it comes to working hard and making money and that's always my motivation because I, I, I'm always thinking about my family and how they need me and you know the things that I have to do for them and that's why I work so hard I want to work as hard as I can and I want to play as hard as I can also because <laughs> my guy life is short you cannot come here walk 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 and die don't do that so yes this is very true so this person says I as hmm I assume that you are wild and crazy <laughs> he choke the person ended it with he choke 
oh my goodness you this human being okay wild and crazy it depends um it depends i feel like i'm wild and crazy with my husband because i have met people who say that why are you so quiet <laughs> that's because my craziness and my attitude towards you would be based on how much i know you okay i will not come and be crazy and wild with you when i barely know you you do understand the next platform this person says i don't low-key want to know how much you have so far since after monetization it just kind of motivates small youtubers like us okay how much have i made so far on youtube i haven't made a lot so far on youtube to be honest but i have made money on youtube now making money on youtube isn't just about playing ads on your videos it is way much more than that i have done paid sponsorships on youtube um I have made videos for like um, an app before like I have promoted an, a certain app on my YouTube uh, videos before I was making 200 euros per video and I was making two videos per month so basically from that alone I was making 400 euros a month with just just by calling talking about them on my youtube videos and so that's that for that and so and also i was also on the side making money from my link so whenever you click on my links i also get a certain percent from the the whole thing so at the end of the the day i was making about 500 dollars every month from that alone just that app promoting that app alone i was making about 500 dollars so um that's just aside youtube advertising on my channel let's talk about just the ads now on running on my channel the highest i have made on youtube with my ads is i think 385 dollars and that was like i think last month so um yeah the more my channel grow so in in, in reality and eh, let's just say in reality if you want to make an estimate if i was to have a paid sponsorship in a month plus my ads and everything put together like do the calculation it is not small don't ever call yourself a small youtuber okay you're a growing youtuber nobody is small nobody is small like your audience might be perfect for someone else's budget so you're not small so this is not an assumption but more like a question she says where do you see yourself in the next five years on youtube to be honest when i came on youtube i came for the fun of it when i started youtube i didn't even know youtube paid money as i have always said on my channel so i started youtube as a travel and a lifestyle content creator because my whole dream has always been to travel the world like that is still a dream that i have now that i know that i can make money from youtube why not so my goal is to have a community i don't know why but i'm the kind of person that enjoys this so i just want to build a community of people that i can rely on that can also rely on me back and of course in the process make a lot of money okay <laughs> this person says well my assumption is that you feel you are unique in your own way absolutely i feel like everybody thinks they're unique in their own way and not to brag but i am a person that ha that is very blessed and when it comes to like talents i have things that i can do with my hands i have things that i can do like as a person and then whatever i put my mind to i do it and i do it well so i do think that i am a very very unique person in my own way <laughs> um this person says i assume you are a no-nonsense person your cute face is just the cv does okay let me say that a lot of people talked about this thing now please i want you guys to comment in the comment section why do you guys think i am a no-nonsense person i don't know where that assumption is coming from but let me tell you guys i saw at least four people say that same thing now i'm gonna read all of them this person says i assume you are a no nonsense person your cute face is just deceiving us another person say i assume your anger will not be a good side being that you joke a lot that's kind of in the same round no nonsense person your anger will not be a good sight this person says i assume you you are really funny and angered easily that's another one in the same line anger no nonsense person and okay this person says Ahem, i assume that you are a no nonsense person same word and you can slap a soldier that misbehaves near you i assume you don't care about what people think or say about you so that is 
at least four persons that said that they think I am angered easily, I'm a no nonsense person, or <laughs> somebody who said I can slap a soldier out to. I don't want somebody to beat me. <laughs> I cannot slap a soldier, I can never slap a fly. So let me explain this in this way. Look at me like this. I have never ever slapped anyone in my life before. I have never ever fought anyone physically before. Those assumptions are kind of wrong in a way and kind of right. Now, not be, being a no-nonsense person, yeah, I would say absolutely. I'm the kind of person that don't take nonsense. Like if you if you do something that I don't agree with, I will either cut you off or I will just tell you I don't feel it. Like I'm not the kind of person that will be like, oh, let me just keep romancing your ego and see where that takes us organo that's just me like yes i'm a no nonsense person like i am going to tell you if i am not okay with it i will tell you and then if you decide to keep doing it i will cut you off i'm the kind of person that will ghost you okay like if 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 something goes like if if, if you just do anything that i don't like i will completely ghost you like i will block you i will delete you i will not tell you the reason why i'm deleting you i will just stop talking to you if you text me i shall not be replying and if i block you how will you even text me so yes i'm even beginning to get angry <laughs> So you guys are kind of right and kind of wrong. So I would say 50-50% right and wrong. I am not an angry person. I'm not an aggressive person. I, I cannot like physically like have any altercations with you. But I'm the kind of person that I am a very emotional person. So if you hurt me, I will just cut you off. So yes, I am a no-nonsense person. But I am not an angry person that one is wrong thank you for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button if you're new break it destroy it and do whatever you like with it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye